Right, hello everybody, this is Backblast. Here we are again on Deadly Tower of Monsters. Uh, episode 3, I think. Come on, here. Come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. We're at the door to the engine room, which, which we can't get into for some reason. Okay. Picking science community also complained about these Terra whatevers breathing fire. Like there's fossil evidence of dinosaurs not ever shooting fireballs. It's not like I gave them neck frills or had them spit poison or anything ridiculous like that. Okay, now we can get in the engine room. Let's go, let's go. Keep an eye out behind you. Keep going. There we go. Have I been in here once? Uh, I think I have. I think at the end of the last episode, we, uh, we came in here, didn't we? Keep going round. Uh, or else the tower will be destroyed. Oh, right. Uh, um, um. As luck would have it, the next lot to ours was filming some horror movie set in Transylvania. So we signed a soft contract with them to use their set after they wrap for the day. And by that, I mean we kind of snuck in and filmed it real quick when no one was looking. <laughs> and my assistant, Phyllis, keep a lookout for the security guard. things which we don't need. I don't quite understand why we need two characters unless she has different things that this guy can't do. Landmines. Uh, is that the special power? What's up there? There's a gold cog. How do I get to the gold cog? And how to get up there. No, nope, don't know what that does either. How do I get up to the gold cog? These things have got funny lights. Am I supposed to do something with those?
that way. I can't get him open over here. I can go through here. And there appears to be something through this way somewhere. Ah, now maybe I have to do the landmines on those. Hey, most hey. days the effects team really nailed it. Dinosaurs, saucers, hey, you name it. But these um, deflating rock boulder cubes, ah, not their best word. What's that? This looks kind of odd, if you ask me, like giant whoopee cushions. And they said they could add some debris and explosions or two afterwards. What if I fall through and the And then we ran out of budget. Well, to be fair, we ran now. out of budget several times, but still, I lost a lot of sleep over these rocks. Hey, a gold cog. First gold cog I've got. Um, right, okay, where am I going? Get back down here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I came up here and I got the gold cog, and now there's nothing, there's nowhere to go to. Guys, where did you come from? Intrigued by those those things down there. Those hoops. Intrigued.
right. We first tried this one with regular logs. Well, that was disastrous. I'll tell you, never mess with physics. It was kind of, well, to be frank, it started out nice, but then... Uh, look, got more there, look. Well, it was a death trap. Just plain and simple, it was a death trap. Poor kid holding the boom almost broke his leg. I guess he played basketball in college or something, because he leaped right at the last second. Whoo! Crisis averted. My props guy wanted to swap them with some spongy material for safety, but I had a better idea. Let's set the logs on fire, then the crew will be sure to be safe dealing with them. All this jumping and climbing and jumping. Wouldn't this make a great video game? Isn't that what all those video games are about? Jumping around? Well, yeah, and killing. There's jumping too, but mostly the killing. What? Patrick, that's awful. What sort of example are we setting for our use? Well, movies are pretty violent too. Your heroes have killed everything in sight. You had Dick shooting a dinosaur in the face in the first five minutes. Uh, well, Patrick, that's different, you know? What we did on film, that was art. Video games aren't art. Space Shiv. Okay, not sure what a space shiv is, but let's swap it back for the mace thing, I think. We like the, the mace, and we've got the poking stick. Got the Tesla gun and the ray gun. We're doing fine. I don't need to be messing about with that lot. Oh, now we can upgrade things. So the actual ray gun. Gold to upgrade, so does the Tesla gun, which I'm currently using now with more oomph. Let's, let's do that. Oh, I'm not sure of. Uh, I'm sure of the middle ones, Anna, the silvers. Can I do the ray gun? 5 3 and 1? No, no, can't do that. What about any of these? Yeah. No, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it as we are. Where are we going? Up here, I think. Here we go, up here. Temples. Alter our monkeys. What do the monkeys say? It's too late for us to save yourself. Escape this planet. Funny story about the two caged apes in this scene. I had completely forgotten about them when we wrapped up filming on the set. Then we spent the next day doing a location shoot. So, suffice it to say, our return to the studio was met with a couple of grumbling tummies complaining about unsafe work conditions, human rights, yada yada yada. Up there. Now, where was that? 
was over there, wasn't it? That, uh, that silver cog. So can I get to it from here? The answer's probably no. Okay. Let's go back up down there then. Or I can maybe could just jump back up. Yeah, we can teleport back up. That's all it's good to see. Hey Patrick, I was thinking we should take a little break and get a bite to eat. You like Chinese? I know a great takeout. Well, we're not scheduled for a break for another few hours. Nonsense! Hey, you have to try the shrimp. It's the absolute best, but... Oh, hey, uh, I feel like I should warn you. It gives me horrible gas. <laughs> but that's okay, we're friends, right? Uh, really, uh, sir, okay. studio time costs a fortune. Let's just stay on schedule. Good thinking! We could grab a real dinner together and go out for a night on the town, yeah! <laughs> Two young bachelors on the prowl. Say, where do you youngsters go these days? Oh. Get up there. You got up for the first one. What's the matter with you? No. Steady. There we go. There we are. There we are. Yeah, I'm not going back for the other one. Mr. Calamari coming at me. There we go. And we're in the next area. Go you know, this. this movie may not have made the big splash in Hollywood or even made the budget back for that matter, but. Hey, in the end, I think it was still worth making, just for those die-hard fans that really love it. I attended a lot of sci-fi and movie cons, and to this day, I still see fans showing up dressed as aliens and apes and dinosaurs. <laughs> Does a man proud. Now, granted, their costumes aren't exactly 100% faithful to the film, and it seems that no one ever remembers them by the right name. But still, oh, knowing that we still have fans like this promoting the film decades later, it puts a tear in this old director's eye. You gotta get all motion. Okay. Health as well, man. Ah, 
Marconi and his insistence on lens flare. I tell you, some days it felt like he was trying to be the director. Honestly, you could see dust on the lens, so I'd just go and wipe <laughs> it off myself. He would get so upset about it, too. Like my fingers aren't clean enough to wipe the lens. <laughs> Touch the lens. Mm, whatever. <laughs> Well, I'm getting gold out of these things. I'm not getting any cogs out of them, so, but the gold's helping a little. Uh, yeah. Now uh, there's a health thing. There we go. We need the health thing. Let's get the health thing. There's the health thing, and we've got a red thing here. What does the red thing do? Ah, we can do upgrades, which I don't quite understand. Why? What? I, I don't understand what. How? How? How do I get to level two? What's yes? No. Level two. Is it just because I, I haven't got past that? Okay. Fly through twenty hoops. Uh, conquer the nu nuclear anti. Parry twenty enemy attacks. Kill a large dinosaur with a dagger. Missing film reels, ten enemies into flaming turrets, defeat the mega gorilla. There's loads, there's loads, okay. Uh, I guess because I've only done one, I've only got one upgrade. I see, gotcha, gotcha, cha, okay. So there's another one of those things, there's another cog. Uh, what's the green ones do? Green ones, you choose your weapon. Quite happy with the ones I've got, thank you. Can we upgrade any of them? Um, I've got one gold, haven't I? So 7-4, I can upgrade that, but I'm using at the moment, I'm using that. The weapon can be further upgraded, so I've got a max Tesla beam. Okay, the giant fan. Okay, well the giant fan's up here. So let's have a look at the giant fan. Okay. Well, I think what I'm going to do is, I think we're probably going to leave it just before we try and enter the giant fan. Um, I hope you're enjoying this game. I certainly am enjoying playing it. It's a, it's a very fun retro game. It's very, very good. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, really. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like the series. Um, let me know um, if you like this and you want me to keep going and um, let me know if there's any other games that you want me to do uh, please subscribe if you like the channel and if you already subscribe please tell others I've been back last I'll see you next time